This video is sponsored by Crazy Dog T-Shirts. What's up guys, it's me Omar from GeeksterLabs.com and today I have my very first comparison review for headphones. I have the Beats by Dre wireless headphones versus Scotia's RH1060 Bluetooth headphones. So these are obviously both wireless headphones and I wanted to put them up uh, against each other because I know lots of people love Beats and not maybe not too many people even know that Scotia has uh, Bluetooth headphones. So I want to do this comparison review to kind of talk about my experience while using both of these products. So let's get into First it. First off, I know not many people are going to be caring about this point, but I'm just going to make it anyways. Let's talk about carrying cases. As you see, the Beats by Dre carrying case is a soft foam padded one. Pretty well padded, but there's no, it's not hard or anything. It's just a padded, soft padded one. But then we have the Skosh RH-1060s, which come in a hard padded case. It's a lot larger than this one, obviously. But the, the nice thing that they also include is the soft pouch carrying case. If you do want to throw it inside of the backpack or whatever, you can have that option. You don't have to use the big one. So, so far in that, I obviously, I prefer, obviously, the Skosh one. This one's pretty nice, but it's not going to protect it from... If, if I drop it from a really high distance or anything like that, it's just going to protect it from getting scratched up and will also allow you to keep track of all your cables and such. All right, let's talk about comfort, guys. As you can see, both of these headphones are predominantly made of plastic, glossy plastic, if you will. And as far as comfort goes, obviously the RH1060s are a little bit heavier because they are over-the-ear headphones. These are on-ear headphones. Um, and we'll talk about the difference between those and the sound quality aspect of this review. But let's just talk about comfort. Overall, I think they both were pretty comfortable, but the Beats by Dre wireless ones are a little bit lighter, so they don't feel as, as heavy as these ones do because this is quite bulkier. But keep in mind, they are over-the-ear headphones. Um, as far as portability goes, they both fold up pretty small, and they, like I showed you, they do include the carrying cases, but you know, they're not that big of a difference. So even though the, these ones are over-ear headphones and this is on-ear, they are about to pretty much the same size as far as form factor goes. The materials that they're made from, like I said, are both plastic, shiny plastic. I do kind of prefer the Scotch ones over the Beats because it just has a little bit more highlights to it. It has this kind of gunmetal edge here. It has this chrome lip. Um, obviously, it has a nice leather on the inside the top here and on the ear cushions. The Beats also have the leather cushions and they are very comfortable as well. But the inside part is kind of like that Teflon type of rubber silicone material. So, you know, overall the quality, as far as like the materials they're made from, I kind of prefer the RH1060s, just because they look a little bit nicer. So let's talk about sound quality, okay? The big feature. So, like I mentioned already, keep in mind that the RH1060s from Skosh are over-ear headphones. So there's obviously going to be a little more uh, noise isolation compared to the on-ear headphones of Beats by Dre. So, even with that being the case, I still kind of felt that the RH1060s, if, you know, not even taking into consideration the noise cancellation part of it or blocking out the noise. The actual overall quality of the sound was much better than the RH1060s. The Beats by Dre, as everybody knows, is very bass heavy, really good for hip hop, um, not very good for much else, especially when I was watching movies and stuff like that. It was, you know, really difficult to like hear when the people are talking and when the difference between talking and music and then like sound effects and things like that, these were terrible to use. Um, when it came to watching movies, these were awesome. These were very good, whether it's an action movie or uh, any kind of different types of movies. The audio on these were much better, and these are much more even in sound. They're not going to blow you away, because keep in mind, they are Bluetooth, so it is wireless. But uh, overall, between the two, the sound qualities are much more even and a much better sounding. If you, all you want to listen to is hip-hop and look stylish, then you're probably just going to want to go for the Beats by Dre. So, that's just part of the sound quality aspect. Now, let's talk about price. These retail for $279, so $280. These retail for $200. So, if you get these, not only are you getting over-ear headphones, which are a little bit larger and better when it comes to, to, to canceling out some of the sound, but it's $80 less. So, and it, it does include those two different cases. It includes the same other accessories as this one does. It has a USB cable, the auxiliary 3.5 jack, so if you do run out of battery life, they both include those, those same things. But, uh, you know, when it comes down to it, I think the value is much in, more in the Skosh RH10s. Besides that, they have the same exact features. You can control the audio and everything using the, the earpiece right here. You can pick up phone calls and talk. They both have built-in microphones. But uh, I just think for the overall sound quality and for the price and the value of it, I would recommend getting the Skosh RH1060s. So... That's it for this comparison review. If I missed anything, if you have any more questions, if there's something I didn't say and I forgot to talk or mention, please post your comment below and let me know what you think, what you have any questions about, anything like that. I'll do my best to get back to you. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video review.